Okay, so this is a quick video about uh, spreading diatomaceous earth. So I always have a lot of trouble with squash and, and have trouble with the, the vine borer uh, bug. Okay, so I know this diatomaceous earth, it, if you spread it over the base of your plant, uh, of your squash plant, it will um, kill bugs that walk across it, including the vine borer, which is great. Um, but it'll also kill other plant, other bugs that you uh, that you don't want to kill, which you know, mainly bees, right? So um, you can't just kind of scatter the stuff. I have done it, you know, a little bit less um, precisely and killed and ended up killing some bees. So I thought, well, this year I'm going to try to do it, you know, figure out a way to spread it a little bit better. So what I came up with, I took a um, just a little kid's baseball bat, okay, like a plastic bat, and I cut the ends off of it, and then on the one end I just basically used a juice. A juice bottle and made a funnel um, and so I'm not gonna even try doing on this squash to demonstrate but um, because I might end up um, breaking something but so what I do is I find the, the base of the squash you know and I take my bat and I put it down there at the base of the squash okay well first I put some diatomaceous earth into the top of this thing okay and then after I put it put the end where I want it then I start rotating I start rotating this thing and so the the um, the diatomaceous earth gets onto the you know my target there demonstrate just a little bit so if I have some diatomaceous earth in here and I start turning it around like this. Then it comes out the bottom. Okay, so. And that way I can uh, can apply the diatomaceous earth to the to the base of the, of the squash plants without um, you know getting it below where the flowers are because I don't want to kill the kill the bees that are uh, doing the doing the heavy lifting around here. Um, now, without diatomaceous earth is great, but you do have to apply it. If it rains, it kind of you know it kind of clods together, and then uh, so it's a good idea to, to apply it again. So, um, just one of the downsides of doing organic gardening is that you um, it's a lot more maintenance than just spraying um, you know some kind of pesticide on there. So, uh, but it is 